So when a client comes to me, the first question I ask is, what do you want to study? And do you know the response I always get? Anything. Just give me anything. And I say to them, no, 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 no. Anything will not do. Not at all. So in this video, I'm going to give you some few tips on how to know what you want to study in the USA. Now, you know, Cameroon needs a lot of technology to emerge. So right now you are in the right place. You need to come to the USA, study in the USA, pick up this technology and go and be the number one in your field in Cameroon. So there are three things you want to pay attention to. The first, what did you study? Now, very often we all know what we studied is not really what we love. We saw friends picking a course and we joined them in. Sometimes our parents say, this is what I want you to study. So you do have your transcript on one side. Go to your transcript, look at where you hit those A grades and those B pluses, and you want to note down those courses as possible study topics. The second thing I usually do with my clients is that I ask you to write two stories of two events you will never forget. One as a child and another one as an adult. Now, when you write out these stories, you're going to discover that there is something that you hold on to. There is a problem that gets you angry very often. So, for example, someone could write, I'll never forget when I had an accident and I was really nicely treated by the nurses. I was afraid, but I enjoyed my time in the hospital. I know this person has a tilt towards care and the person seems care is important. So whatever course I am joining to those A grades they are, they are getting in their transcripts has to go along in that direction. The third tip you want to use, and you want to use a combination of these, is the Meyer Briggs test. So when you come to me as a client, I give you the Meyer Briggs test. I have the link. Uh, right down there. Please click sub subscribe because you want to get all these videos. Subscribe to my channel so that you can get the videos and you can get yourself started. So whether you come to me or to an, another educational consultant, you know exactly what it's about and what you're about to do. So what will the Maya Breaks test do for you? The first thing is that it will show you your strengths and your weakness, your weaknesses. So I always use the results from Valdosta University because they show you your academic strengths. You get to see what you're good at, how you read, how uh, what are classes are important to you, whether you have attention to detail or not. And from this personality test is going to give you a lot of good information for writing your personal statement because the admissions officer wants to see who is this person we are bringing into a school. So whether you're going into undergraduate studies, which is a beginner program in getting to know definitions and terminology in the field, or you're going into a master's degree where now you have to learn theories and learn to apply them to solve a problem, or you're going into a doctorate where you're totally innovating, you're taking things from your culture, from your upbringing and bringing it into Western education or taking work someone has done and developing it a step further. You want to know your strengths. You want to know your abilities. And this also helps you so much in choosing a university. So I'm going to wrap it up. How do you know what you want to study? Oh, I almost forget the most juicy piece. Your name. Yes, your name. What you want to study is hiding in your name. 
Now, most of you don't know what your name means. You want to go back, go to your family, ask, why was I named like this? Uh, who was I named after? What does this name mean? What did that person do? And the further back you go in your ancestry, you will find some common traits that you can identify that this is like me. When you put this together and you meet an educational consultant, you are able to say, hey, this is what I studied in school. This is where I hit the A grades. It connects to this about me. Here's where I want to see myself in five years time. I want to be waking up to go to my own office or go to my own business or I want to be relaxing because I've already figured out a system. And so I want you to find a course that combines this, this, and this. And this gives the educational consultant a head start in getting you exactly what you want. Now, why do you want to take time to figure out what you want to study? Two big reasons. Now, the first reason is that studying in the USA has to do with a lot of reading. And so if you pick a course that you're not interested in and not passionate about, you're going to give up really fast. You're going to be, I want out of here. I can't do this anymore. It's too difficult. And you find yourself out of legal status as a, as a student. You find yourself, you become a prey to people who are giving obnoxious advices on how to stay in the U.S. and cut corners and they always will come to bite you. The second reason you want to know what you want to study is actually to get the student visa. Now, a student visa is a visa for those who want to study and come back to their country. So it's called a non-immigrant visa. And so what you want to study has to show a return on investment for the cause, for the money you're putting in, for the money your family is putting in. And if you want to know more, check on our next video, which is going to be on what are the three startup documents that you need when you're going to meet a consultant? So remember the points. How do you know what you want to study? Check the A grades and the B pluses in your transcript. One, two, write two stories about two events you'll never forget in your life. One as a child, one as an adult. Three, research your name, research your name, Research your name, research what your name means for, put it all together and you'll have something brilliant. Thank you for tuning in. Remember to hit the subscribe button, share it to your friends. There's so many people who want to go to the USA, but just don't know where to start. And I'm here to demystify the process. Thank you.